Hey, James Stratton here. Um, with a horrible glare on my face. Love it. I don't normally drive in the mornings like this. Um, but today, I am doing something very cool. Very epic, awesome. I'm excited. Uh, I'm excited and also nervous. God, this does not sound like I'm setting it up to be what it actually is. Uh, so today, I am on a quest. I am on a quest for a chainsaw. And I'm currently driving, I'd say like 30 minutes out of my way, to try and pick up the one I want at a Lowe's. Um, in all honesty, this is going to be the second most money that I have ever dropped in one purchase. Um, second only to my daily driver $800 hoopty that I bought with my last tax return. Um, so all I'm looking at is like 550 bucks. So you take that, you add on, you know, I need a file for the chain, bar and chain oil, get some fuel with it to extend my warranty. Um, I'm gonna be sitting comfortably probably on the, somewhere in the 600s, closer to 7. So, that's, that's quite a bit. Um, and to be completely honest, um, my brain's trying to talk me out of it, even though this is something I've been considering for months that I know I eventually want to do. And right now I've got the money on hand um, like I said, fuck it, let's do it. So I do have a plan for the chainsaw. Um, what I've called it so far is my latest harebrained scheme. Uh, I hope it's not going to be too crazy, but like, look, I've done enough talk in my life. I've done enough talk. I've done enough saying without doing. And, you know, unus honest. let's do it. I can't let myself be talked out of this, you know. Dreams that you never chase will become your regrets on your deathbed. I don't care if I completely fail. I don't care if I end up ultimately throwing $700 down the toilet today because I've thrown bigger chunks of money at things that are far less promising. But I wanna try. I could completely fail, but this could also be the start of something incredible. So, I'm on my way to Lowe's now. Be there soon. Uh, and then I get to drive 45 minutes to my parents' place where I've got some trees that I suppose I could practice on, so. We'll see how it goes. All right, next shot. As I approach this Lowe's, I have to just sit back and reflect for a minute on how many guys my age could and would blow $700 on a new Xbox and a handful of games. And then, you know, I'm just me over here I'm trying to change the world, baby. One piece at a time. One piece at a time. God, I hope it's still in stock. That's why I drove so far out of the way is because it's this one particular saw that I want. And it's at this one particular Lowe's. And nowhere else has it in stock, really. Um, except maybe a tractor supply somewhere. Because I know they stock the uh, Husqvarna brand. But anyway... I'm here, so let's go blow some money and see if my bank flags me for a strange purchase. All right, after a quick debate while I was in Lowe's, um, first off, not seeing the one that I was looking for. God, I hope it's still in stock. God, I hope it's still in stock. Second, out of concern for my wallet, my bank account, um, 
I made a bit of a decision and I chose to go with a slightly smaller model uh, which still has the juice to run a 36 inch bar which is basically the requirement I was looking for. It's a Husqvarna um, 450E, I think, 450, whatever, it's a 50cc chainsaw. Um, I was going in to get the 460 Rancher, and it said they had one in stock, but in stock apparently doesn't mean out amongst the other saws, and I really don't like people and really didn't feel like it, and this one was, I think, 409 before tax. The other one was $550 before tax. So for a little bit less engine displacement, um, I can settle, you know, I can settle for a slightly smaller one. Like I said, it can still run a 36 inch bar, which is what I'm eventually going to get for it. Um, but of course the largest bars they have in there are twenties. I was at least going to try and get a 24 inch. So the 460 has a 24 inch. That's what I was excited about, you know, big bar, but um, you know, not everything works out entirely as planned, but I'm still going back to my mom's with a brand new, fully assembled in the box chainsaw. Um, I got bar and chain oil and some pre-mixed fuel and a file and, you know, all the stuff you need. All the stuff you need, including, ha, ah, this is an awesome look. All y'all people out there with your fake Facebook ad 1995 Ray-Bans and I'm out here with $10 flimsy ass safety glasses I got from Lowe's and I think I look like a badass right now. Right back. I'm not particularly familiar with this city so I just discovered that I am ever so slightly going completely the wrong way. So note to self fix that. Now, I just realized something um, really speaks to the narrative of how I'm kind of an idiot. Like, you know, I'll say I'm an idiot a lot, and that's basically the unaltered truth. Because um, if I had just initially decided, like, hey, I don't exactly need this top-of-the-line thing that's gonna break my budget, um, you know, I could have just stopped at the Lowe's right by my house and I wouldn't have had to go through this little side quest looking for a 460 just to walk out with a 450. But, you know what? I'm the king of the side quests. I like it, you know, it gave me something to do. It was fun, it was a good little adventure. Alright, I know the uh, lighting's not gonna be great because I didn't pick the best angle and the sound's probably gonna suck because wind exists, but here's the hull that I got. Um, got a Husqvarna chain file kit thing. Um, got some funnels because I don't want to get everything covered in bar oil immediately. Um, picked up two of these uh, felling wedges because Oh, sorry, I pointed that the wrong way. Picked up two of these felling wedges because, well, seems like a smart idea, you know. Reducing the risk of death is my goal here. Uh, I also picked up a gallon of this bar and chain oil. That was like 12 bucks. Not upset about that. And I also got uh, three cans of this pre-mixed fuel and managed not to explode on my way home. And originally my plan was get the 460 Rancher and, you know, get the bar oil, the fuel, maybe a file, and that was it. And then I was out of money. I was gonna be strapped for the next couple weeks. But since I got the one that was 
$140 cheaper, I was able to throw in this beautiful prize. Brand new axe. Um, never really had like an actual axe before. I just have this uh, crappy little hatchet. And I mean, gets the job done. I had to sharpen it a little while back. Gets the job done. It's not perfect. But now I have a whole ass axe. And I know that's great for um, knocking these wedges into the tree where you're cutting. And now, on to the star of the show. I know you're all waiting for. I know half the people who clicked on this are waiting for. I'm like, come on, man, get to the good part. I'm like, okay, get into the good part. My brand new saw, which <clears throat> I'd read that it was kind of packed ridiculous. It's fully assembled. They just kind of have the bar poking out. It looks a little ridiculous, but, you know, so what? So, with my horrible um, camera holding skills, um, let's get into an unboxing. All right, so I think that angle might work. It's probably gonna look like I'm unboxing this in a cave, but so what? It's good to have a pocket knife on hand for the occasional chainsaw unboxing. I know uh, this is gonna be a lot less awkward than trying to open it one-handed bad enough at opening things when I have two hands. Let's try not to completely destroy the box just in case. Crack that open. Play the camera, but eh, so what. Okay. Got a little prize kit here with the uh, guide. Oh, thank God it has the that out of there. It does come with this tool included. That was the one thing I was concerned about. Um, comes with manuals and a little thing of two cycle oil that I'm not going to need yet, but you know, I've got it. Yeah. Ever loving heck do you get this thing out of here. Oh baby. There she is. Let's get this uh, stupid blister pack dummy thing off of a blade. My god. Oh, this is gonna be locked up like a prison. Up the old handy dandy there. Old handy dandy randy. Are we gonna cut out most of the stuff that makes me look like an idiot? Yep, I'm caught in a tooth. Oh wait, that's a staple. Yep, I am a dumbass. Aha, okay. Whew, she is a beauty. Tell you what. Now that I got past that horrible unboxing, here she is in the flesh. Slick. I love it. Alright, let's uh, get in some fuel, get in some bar oil, and try to start this up. Alright, just staring at the side of it. It's got these handy dandy little flip up fillers. That's for the fuel. This one's bar oil. Beautiful. Love it. Okay. Where is handy dandy randy? Alright, y'all can see so much when it's pointed directly at the dang, uh, A bumper. <clears throat> that's excessive. Mm. Mm. That's perfect for the fuel. Not a great angle for the bar oil. Kind of a uh, 
situation am I dealing with here? Yeah, my camera work is not that great. Um, I haven't really done a lot of the uh, YouTube and videos thing in a while. It's been a couple years, so there's a lot that I could use to relearn. Okay, that's well, if that'll stay there, that'll be great. Um, <laughs> this could end incredibly badly. Okay, there she goes. I don't know how much borrow all this thing holds. I don't know how big this tank is. Like, to be completely honest, never owned a chainsaw before. I've never run a chainsaw before. Um, I learned a little bit about chainsaws from my grandpa when he was still alive. Um, you know, because he was, my grandpa was really an outdoorsman, and in his retirement, he did a lot of tree cutting, just for the hell of it, you know, as old people do. There's that. I don't think I over tightened it. That's perfect. <clears throat> All right. Now, get some fuel in this bad boy. I haven't opened one of these yet. I don't know if it's going to fucking explode on me. All right, well, if I die, it might be good for views. You crack this thing open. pretty inert. All right. Beautiful. Well, that's actually uh, put this bad boy on the ground because I wouldn't mind a little bar oil in the back of my car, but yep, that's pre-mix. All right. Okay. There we go. Yeah, it's going to be pretty obvious starting out that I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. Um, what I really need to do today in this video is just start up the saw, give it a little test drive, familiarize myself with it. That way in the future I don't like cut my leg off, you know. Because, as fun as I'm sure that would be, I don't want to cut my leg off. <laughs> Alright, so she's all uh, strapped up. I'm going to go ahead and read this owner's manual, just to be sure I'm not uh, forgetting anything or too much of an idiot. Uh, I'll be right back at you. Alright, I'm glad I read the owner's manual, because as I said, I'm an idiot. Uh, so, be sure the chain is right. Um, oh, it's got to be, um, not sagging, but it's got to be easily turned by hand, which, I mean, I'd say it's easily enough, right? Well, it's a new chain. It does turn. Doesn't have any oil on it yet. It's got some tension, but new chains are tense. I have the damn chain brake on. Okay, well, let's uh, try to start this thing up. I'll see if I can set up an angle and see what happens. All right, so according to the instructions on the back of this thing, flip this sucker up. What? Out. Okay. You hit the primer six times. Six. Pull this here, deal. No, you'll probably can't see this. 
this is the best part. She lives. Put that down. Got the chain break. As you can see, I'm a complete fucking idiot, and I don't really know what I'm doing, but holy hell, that cut like butter. That's kind of what I heard, like, bitch cuts like butter. That was a small tree. Papa always told me not to cut small stuff with a chainsaw. I think he meant, like, really small. I'm pretty sure I saw him do stuff like that. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to pick out kind of a screwy-looking tree. I don't know if you can see, I'm kind of shaking a little bit. That was that was awesome. Um, yeah, I'm going to try and find some kind of a tree that I want to slaughter. Try and set up an angle and then see what happens. You know? This is fun. I like it. I know this is probably kind of a shit angle and it's a little bit distant, but I picked out a tree. Um, it's kind of the one I was planning on dropping first, kind of as a... Uh, test run for what I'm doing out here so uh, let me show you this little fella right here favors about like that first felling let's do it I picked a small tree to do first so I hopefully don't die uh, we'll see how that goes A lot of learning to do. Um, I'm not dead yet, so that's a good sign. Not knowing what I'm doing, I kind of went into it a little too low on the tree. I couldn't really judge my angle. I've never really had to judge an angle for that before, so pull out old wacky.
not exactly my dream first felling, but not knowing what I'm doing, I think I'm doing okay. So, let's see what happens. stump uh, it like 80% did what I wanted it to do which is a good reason to start out on a small tree because 80% works on a small tree you know I could lift this thing up well not lift it up but I could drag it probably around this whole fucking yard if I needed to 80% uh, don't cut it on something that's like this big you know the uh, uh, I forget what this cut is called, you know, the one where you, you cut out the wedge and then got it from the back. It is very much not straight. Uh, you can see here where I kind of, you know, screwed it up early on, I'm sure. Any actual chainsaw guys are looking at me shaking their heads like, come on, you idiot, you're going to end up dead. Like, try not to end up dead. So, uh, but... Yeah, let's uh, just jump right in, cut this thing up, just for something to do. I um, also didn't realize that, I don't know how I didn't realize, when I say I'm an idiot, you know, I realize that. But, bar oil makes the sawdust oily. Go figure. Yeah, I realized... Uh, if I had got that 460, I probably would have shit myself right now. Seeing as I've never really handled a chainsaw before, it's probably a good thing I got a slightly less powerful, slightly less torquey one. Maybe I'm less likely to end up dead. Checking my recording time. 16 minutes total. Okay. Well, let's, uh, let's chop this little fucker up. <laughs>
for right now, and that's really all the recording time I've got. So, well, all you're gonna do is comment on how I'm fucking moron and obviously don't know what I'm doing and just gonna get myself killed. Well, I mean, I'm open to constructive criticism, of course. You know, tips and tricks and whatnot. Thing is, I'd never handled a chance handled a chainsaw before. I never really knew about the weight of it, the power of it, the torque of it. Never knew what it feels like when the chain hits the wood, you know. So I could be completely wrong, but for the first time ever doing it, I think I did okay. I mean I'm walking out of it with all my fingers and toes. Have my glasses, you know, I wear steel toe boots just as an oh shit measure for daily life. That's part of my standard equipment. Uh but, you know, and I was trying to stay clear just in case of a kickback or something. Like, I don't know if you saw me kind of stand off to the side a little bit. Uh, but, yeah, I know I'm not perfect. Um, and I've got a lot to learn. I've got a lot more small trees to get rid of before I move on to anything major. And I'll probably have a bigger bar before I do anything major. And by then I should know the way it feels and know how to look less like I'm a danger to myself. Post video stratton here with a few extra words. I think I get that um, uh, handling deadly equipment for the first time. It's not exactly the right scenario for trial and error, but you know, honestly, with the only two people in my immediate family who knew how to operate a chainsaw now four and five years gone, there's really not much more I could do than watch these chainsaw guys on YouTube, get inspired by them, and, you know, see like, oh, this is cool. I want to try this out. I have ideas for this. And there's nothing that can really equal the real world experience. And I have no experience. But I'm looking to gain that experience as safely as possible. I am a generally very cautious and with that very paranoid person. Um, you know, all I can think is, when I was making the first big cut was, oh shit, oh shit, what if it has a kickback, what's going to happen? That's all I could think, you know. So, I was prepared for whatever may happen. Well, I don't want to say that, but I'm aware of the dangers of operating dangerous and potentially deadly equipment like this and I'm doing everything I can to try and do that safely but without anyone ever having gradually taught me as a kid you know there's only so much I can do and you know I did get a relatively beefy like industry grade saw for my first chainsaw so you know you live and you learn Got a lot more learning to do. I was really inspired to do this chainsaw thing by this guy online. Goes by Human. He's a cool guy. Might link his channel. Um, a lot of chainsaw videos, truck videos, but time's up. Gotta go. See you in the next one.